Hey guys, welcome to today's video, and if you are new here, welcome. Here on this channel, you will find a lot of skincare content, but I also provide a lot of makeup and hair care videos as well. So if you love all things beauty, then you are in the right place. Today, I'm gonna to be showing you my beauty empties. I have a little bit of everything today. So we have some skincare, we have some makeup, and of course, supplements. And everything that I'm sharing in today's video will all be linked below for you for your reference, and of course, for easy shopping. You guys know the drill. I will let you know whether or not these are things that I would repurchase or if I'm going to take a break from. So let's get right into it. But please don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up as it really helps my channel with the algorithm. And please don't forget to subscribe and ring that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos as I do upload videos every single week. All right, so the first empty that I have here is the CeraVe Foaming Facial Cleanser. You guys know that this was a holy grail a little while back. It's been a while since I've talked about this, and honestly, it has taken me a long time to finish up this as well. I have been working on this since the beginning of last year, since the beginning of 2022, and it has taken me a really long time to finish up because I fell in love with the Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Facial Cleanser. And then, of course, now I'm testing out the new Ordinary Cleanser that that they are releasing in March and then I have some other things that I'm using so it's not something that I have been gravitating towards as much lately but I really loved using this during the summer months because I feel like that foaming cleanser really does make a big difference when your skin is more oily in the summer great for normal combination oily skin types by the way if you have dry skin or sensitive skin I mean this still might be okay but you might find it to be a little bit too stripping and generally during the winter months I don't like using Using foaming cleansers because sometimes my skin is more on that drier side so I'm glad that I finished this up because of course now it's out of my bathroom and I can make room for other things as of right now I am NOT going to repurchase this just because I have been using this for a very long time and I'm kind of tired of it if you know what I mean so I would consider this again in the future but as of right now I'm going to be passing next up is the dermatology peptide night cream this is the old style packaging by the way it looks completely different now and the new packaging actually looks a lot nicer now it has taken me a little while to finish this up as well because I do have other moisturizers that I'm absolutely in love with right now and if you want to know which moisturizers I am using for both my morning and nighttime skincare routines I will leave those videos below for you as well as up here now I really like this I do occasionally use this in my nighttime skincare routine this is one of my favorite moisturizers by the way because there are peptides in here there are ceramides as well and of course there is shea butter and vitamin E so not only is this really moisturizing and repairing on the skin but also we have those peptides to treat fine lines and wrinkles and to firm up the skin so it's one of my favorite anti-aging creams to use at nighttime and I do like to pair this up with tretinoin I do like to use this a lot with copper peptides it's just one of those creams that needs to be in my collection I do have a backup so of course Course, I will be continuing on with this but again it's not something that I use every single day but if you're looking for something like this to help with fine lines and to keep that skin nice and moisturized and balanced I highly recommend this next up is the Charlotte Tilbury magic cream and I love using this in my morning skincare routine I've been using this since late summer and I am obsessed because I love how moisturizing this is how plumping it is but also I love how this gives my skin that nice glow and radiance I have this on today and as you can see I have this nice glow going on with my skin yes I'm wearing makeup and yes I'm wearing sunscreen that help with this complexion but this is also a big part of how my skin looks right now so if you love that then you are going to love this this is thicker this is more moisturizing than the dermatology moisturizer in my opinion so if you have dry skin or you're looking for something that is thick and rich I would say go with this one over the dermatology now this has anti-aging ingredients as well it has peptides it has vitamin C vitamin E hyaluronic acid and the list goes on plus there's a lot of humectants in here as well to keep that skin nice and plump and hydrated so I love using this in my morning routine more so than my nighttime I have used this at night and you can use this every day twice a day there are different size options to pick from of course I have the 50 ml size here and I will be continuing on with this I have two backups in my linen closet so this is one of those creams that always needs to be in my collection 
The next empty is the Inky List Omega Water Cream. This is another one that I like using in my morning skincare routine because again, this is another cream that gives my skin that glow and radiance, but also this is very lightweight. So if you are looking for something that is extremely lightweight, that isn't too thick and heavy and rich on the skin, this is the one to try. This also has 5% niacinamide. Now this reminds me of the CeraVe PM Lotion, which you guys know I would is quite obsessed with at one point. I haven't used it in a little while. I'm taking a break from it, but this has basically replaced it because it reminds me of the CeraVe PM. Very similar. They both have ceramides. They both have niacinamide. I just feel like this is more hydrating and more glowy in my opinion. So I much prefer to use this formulation over the CeraVe. This is something that you can use every day, twice a day, and it's great for all seasons. So I will be continuing on with this. Next up is the Neostrata Glycolic Renewal Smoothing Lotion. This contains 10% alpha hydroxy acids. And as you can see, I am completely finished this. I'm obsessed. I've been using this for a very long time. And this is something that I use every single day in my body care routine. So perfect to treat fine lines and wrinkles, great to exfoliate your skin. But also if you have texture, you have bumps, and you also have ingrown hairs, this does a really good job to get rid of that. But also also to prevent ingrowns and texture. Sometimes my chest has texture. I will put this all over. It smooths it out in a couple of days. Also, I put this on the backs of my thighs every single day because I am prone to ingrown hairs. So this helps to keep my thighs really soft and smooth. And anytime I have flakiness on my legs or my arms, this also does a good job. So you can use this on your face as well. I have never used it on my face. My face is quite sensitive to glycolic acid, especially at a 10%. So I don't want to attempt it. So I strictly keep this for my chest down and it does a really good job. So I will be continuing on with this, but if you have any of these skin concerns, this works really well. I also have an empty Sol de Janeiro Bum Dia Bright Cream. Now this is by far my favorite scent from this brand. Of course, I love the Bum Bum Cream. I really do. I love using that one in the summer. It has that beautiful scent to it, but there is something special with this one. I'm really drawn to this scent because it has that warm spiciness to it that I really love. I just really love that undertone and I feel like when it's on your skin and the day goes on, I feel like that spiciness intensifies a little bit more with your chemistry and I just feel like it gets better and better as the day goes on. So because this to me is more warm and spicy, I think that's why I like this one more than the Bum Bum Cream. But this one is really nice. It has a fruity scent to it as well and it's just wonderful. I have the Fragrance Mist as well and I really hope that one day they come out with a perfume something that has that longevity to it the fragrance mist is nice like I will put that in my hair sometimes I will spray it on my clothes and my body but it doesn't last the longest so sometimes I do need to reapply it but if this was in a perfume honestly I would be one of the first to purchase it I would be so happy if they came out with a perfume so maybe one day hopefully I don't know but in the meantime this is really nice it's really moisturizing as well and if you haven't tried it you need to pick it up. I also have an MD Ilia Super Serum Skin Tint SPF 40. I love using this for those no makeup makeup looks. If I don't feel like wearing a full face of makeup and I don't wanna wear foundation, I always use the Ilia Skin Tints because these are very lightweight, they help to even out the skin, but they also give some color to the skin as well. So of course, there are many shades to pick from. This one is in the shade Tulum, but I also have the shade Aura. And during the winter, I do have to mix those two shades together, but come the summer months, I strictly use Aura and it seems to be the perfect match. Now, this has a lot of skincare ingredients. So we have niacinamide, there's squalene and hyaluronic acid. So very moisturizing, very hydrating as well. Also, your skin just looks so radiant with this as well. So you get that nice glow. And I think that looks beautiful during the winter months because a lot of us are lacking that moisture. We're lacking that radiance to our skin. 
So this product will help to give you that complexion so it looks very youthful and your skin just looks healthy. But we also have the SPF 40 and this is 100% mineral. So this has a zinc oxide of 12%. So I did purchase another shade in Tulum. I'm still working on the Aura shade, but if you want something that is lightweight, something that helps to even out the skin tone, I highly recommend the Ilia Skin Tints. I have an empty Patrick Ta Major Glow Softening Lip Mask. This is one of the best in my opinion. I really love this. It performs really well. It heals dry lips. It prevents dry lips. It's also very plumping, hydrating, and it gives your lips that nice juicy look to it. And to be honest with you, I actually like this more than the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask. You are getting less product with this compared to the Laneige, but I just like the way that this performs better on my lips in particular and sometimes I will even put this on top of lipsticks to add that shine but it also gives that plump juicy look as well which I personally love so I did purchase another one and I'm obsessed I also finished the Coserex pimple patches. You get 24 in this one, so you get different sizes. There's some small ones, there's some larger ones, depending on the size of your blemish. And these do a really good job to heal your blemish a lot quicker. It also prevents you from popping them as well. So because I am acne prone, these are a must to have in my collection for when I need them. And these ones from Coserex performs really well. So I did purchase another set just to have on hand. I have two Ordinary Amino Acids Plus B5. I have this in every empties video that I share. I go through one bottle every month. It's a hydrator and I use this every day, twice a day, and I'm obsessed with it. So again, if you have not seen my updated morning and nighttime skincare routines, I'm gonna leave those videos below for you. I do share this product in both of those videos, but I also share these two products as well. So this is the Ordinary Buffet Plus Copper Peptides 1% great to treat fine lines and wrinkles, to firm up the skin, it also hydrates the skin, but copper can help to stimulate new collagen, and it's just fabulous, and I've been using this for a very long time. So I use this every morning, and on the nights that I don't use tretinoin, I'm using copper peptides. And I also have an empty Neod Fractionated Eye Contour Concentrate, which is one of the best eye serums that I've ever used. This really helps to soften those fine lines. It gives that brighter appearance around the eye as well. It deep puffs and there's a lot of peptides in here. There's niacinamide, there's antioxidants. It's just wonderful and I have not found a similar product to this. This ingredient list is really impressive and it's just amazing if you have a look at really what's in this. Yes, recently The Ordinary launched the new multi-peptide eye serum, which I am currently testing out. They are similar in a way, but the ingredients are different. So I will have a review very soon on the new Ordinary eye serum. But in the meantime, if you want something that is more advanced, something that has more anti-aging ingredients, this is the one to look into. So of course, I will be continuing on with all of these. Next up is the Olaplex Number no. 6 Bond Smoother. This is your leave-in styling cream. So this also acts as a heat protectant, but also tames frizz. And I really like this, and I feel like it does a really good job. But I am not going to be repurchasing this, because I'm actually on a new hair care journey this year. I really want to improve the overall health of my hair for 2023 and onward. It's something that I really want to focus on, and I just want to make some lifestyle changes. So expect some hair care videos in the next coming months. I'm switching out a lot of my hair care products. I'm changing some of my supplements as well. And again, yeah, I'm trying to make a change here. So this is lovely, but I'm not gonna be repurchasing. This is the styling wax that I like using on my brows to keep them in place. And your brows don't go anywhere when you're using this. So this is a necessity in my makeup collection. And I did purchase another one. And I also have an empty tinted lip balm by Charlotte Tilbury. This is in the shade Crystal Happy Kiss. This is very subtle. It just gives a light splash of color over the lips, but if I want this to be more bold, then I pair this up with a lip liner and that does a really good job as well. So I love tinted lip balms because they're more moisturizing, but of course you get that nice color as well. And I'm a big fan of this product, so of course I did purchase another one. 
And the last three products are supplements. And like I said, I will be making some adjustments to the supplements that I'm taking. I'm going to be incorporating some new things very soon. But if you would like to know what I take on an everyday basis, I did upload my supplement routine video a little while back. So I will leave that video below for you as well. But the first one here is the Life Extension Vitamin D3 and this is 5,000 IUs. So I take one a day and I really love the way that I feel when I'm up to par with my vitamin D. If you live in a cold climate where there's barely any sun during the winter, I feel like vitamin D is a necessity. Of course, vitamin D is important all year round, but we get more of it during the summer. So during the winter, I really like like taking 5,000 I just feel like it just perks me up and I just feel really good you know what I mean so this is one supplement that I will be continuing on with I don't think I'm gonna be switching this one out but if I do I will let you know but I really love the life extension brand the next empty is the omega-3 fatty acids by the brand Projoba. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be continuing on with this. I do have a backup, so of course I will be finishing that bottle, but then once that bottle is done, I might be changing it up because this one is just omega-3. Of course, you can find supplements that are omega-3, 6, 7, and 9. So I might be making a change come then, but for right now, I have one more bottle left and I do like this. I feel like this does a really good job. So so omega-3 is another supplement that I feel is a necessity, especially in my routine. And of course, this is great for your hair, skin, and nails, and there's a lot of other benefits as well. So I do like this one. And the last one is by Vital Proteins, and this is the Collagen Peptides. So this is great for your hair, skin, nails, joint support. This is grass-fed, pasteurized, raised, and it's in a powdered form, and it's unflavored. So you can take up to two scoops a day, but I only do one scoop every morning and I put it in my coffee and this makes a big difference. I do notice that my nails grow a lot quicker, my hair grows faster, so that can be a pro, that could be a con, but regardless, I really love this product and of course I will be continuing on with this. I purchased multiple backups during Black Friday. I did tell you guys that there was a major sale going on during Black Friday and it was the cheapest I have ever seen it. I believe it was like 30 something dollars Canadian and sometimes this can be $75, it can be $60. It really depends on where you're looking because I feel like different retailers charge different prices and I really don't understand. Of course, yes, they wanna make a profit, but there's all these different price points all the time. So if I'm running out, I will make sure that I'm looking at a lot of different retailers before purchasing because again, there are so many different price points out there. But I really like it. I feel like this really is effective. There is a marine call one as well if you'd prefer that but I really like this and I've been using it for several years so there you have it those are my current empties that I've accumulated since November I really hope that you enjoyed this video and that you found it helpful and most importantly I hope I introduced you to a few new things today of course everything will be linked below for you for your reference thank you so much for watching I always do appreciate it and of course I will see you all in the next video take care and I will see you all then Bye, guys.